Alrighty guys, I got another uh, Power Team Lures giveaway here. Um, this contest, you're gonna just gonna be able to win one pro pack, and you get to choose between one of these four baits and colors here. So I'll go over it really quick. So first uh, bait here we got is the Power Team Lures Lizard here in a kitchen sink, uh, the newest color up to this lineup for this kind of bait here. Again, kitchen sink is a popular color, and there are other baits that they have, but um, they just came out with this for the uh, lizard here. I'll give you. My light is not too good in here, but there it is right there. So you can win that pro pack of their lizards here, or you can choose from their 3.6 JP Hammer Shad in Gold Digger color, which is right here. Uh, it's got black and red flake, got some gold flake around the bait, kind of a watermelon top. It goes back to a pearlish, goldish looking belly there. Got some red flake underneath as well, all around the bait. A lot of gold flake towards the bottom. So there's that. I didn't go over what colors this had in it. This has like red, green, black, uh, some purple. I think that's about it. I don't think there's actually red. I think it's just purple. Purple, green, and black. The kitchen sink color. So, then here we got Bully Grass Devil in Okeechobee Craw, a really popular color for any kind of bait. So, which is right here, you know, you get that solid green green pumpkin top with the black flake. And then you roll it over and it's got all that blue sapphire flake underneath on the belly there. Sorry for my lighting guys, it's not very good. So you can win one of those, or you can choose from... 5 inch 6 sticks again in gold dirt color. All these colors are new to these uh, these four baits here. They just came out not too long ago. So um, here's that 5 inch 6 stick there in that gold digger color. Again red, black, and gold flake. So again, so you can win either one pro pack of their lizards in kitchen sink or one pro pack of the 3.6 JP Hammers in gold digger or the uh, Bully Grass Devil in Okeechobee Craw or the Pro Pack of Six Sticks in Gold Digger. So you can choose between one of these four here guys, only one Pro Pack. Again that's a count of 25 so um, I'll show you some different ways you guys can uh, rig these baits up and um, again we'll go over the rules really quick too so um, just be a subscriber to me and Power Team Lures uh, like this video and uh, comment um, Power Team Lures in the uh, comment section and you'll be entered to win a pro pack of one of these four baits that I just showed you so Comment Power Team Lures subscribe to me subscribe to Power Team Lures like the video and uh, you're in the enter um, We'll go ahead and show you guys some ways to rig it. We'll start off with the 3.6 JP Hammer Shad My number one way to fish this bait is on drop shot here. This is just a VMC uh, two I, I like the bigger hooks for drop shotting uh, seems to stick them a lot better. So, again, just have the front of the bait facing towards you. Stick it in the nose of the bait. I like to pull it out right before the bend, right where it's like between the eyes there. And I barely have it come out. And uh, there you have it on the drop shot there. And you can have whatever uh, leader you want on there. So the VMC has uh, your main tie area there and then you can tie the leader on underneath there. Um, you can fish this on a scrounger head, which I don't have on me. Um, you can fish it on the Power Team Lures P heads, if I can find one here. I know I got a lot of stuff in here. So, here's one of the P heads right here. You can fish it on their P heads, which is a shaky head. You can bounce off the bottom. You just screw lock it into the nose of the bait here twist it on there until it gets up to the head there pull the bait back a little stick it through there you have it on the uh, on the P head the good combination um, you can use it uh, Texas rig weighted or weightless on a I'd say probably a two eye hook you could probably even go smaller I don't have a two hook two eye hook on me I have a three eye 
which that would be pushing it. That'd be like putting it back at the tail here. So two or one on hook, weighted or weightless would be a good way to fish it. Um, those are the ways I'd like to do it. You can do it on a spinner bait for a trailer. Here's an example because I have it one on here. So you can put it on a spinner bait trailer there. I know uh, Tackle Junkie 81 does this a lot. He really likes that nice small profile. So there's another one, another way you can rig it. Um, we'll go over on uh, the Bully Grass Devil here. Um, I really, I just like punching this bait. Is my number way to, one way to fish it. Um, here's a four at laser trocar flipping hook here. Um, a lot of people don't prefer these because of these barbs. They tear up the bait pretty, pretty easy. But I tend not to mind it, I guess. So again, just stick in the nose, pull it out at the bend or a little before, bring it all the way up, cover the eye with it, pull the bait back. Stick it through. There you got it rigged up on a flipping hook there. That's my number one way to fish this bait. Uh, punching and flipping. I love that bait for this. Um, and also you can just Texas rig it. Weighted or weightless. Um, I guess you could put it on a shaky head if you wanted to. But in my opinion I would just punch it or Texas rig it. So there's a 4 EWG. Again same thing. Standard Texas rig. Pull it up through, pull it back, stick it through, and there you have it on a Texas rig there, and if you want it, you know, weedless, you just bury that barb in there, and then it's weedless, you know. Again, weighted or weightless, um, either way works for you. Alright, um, the lizard here, um, a few different ways you can do it. Um, again, standard Texas rig, like I just showed you guys, is a good way, weighted or weightless. Um, I think if you did it weightless, you can use it as a nice little top water action. That'd probably be a good way to do it. Um, I'm sure you can punch this bait with the uh, lighter flipping hooks. Mine are pretty thick. I think I'd tear it up really easy on this. So I wouldn't do it with the size hooks I have, but um, different size hooks you could do it. Um, you can use it on swim jig trailers, which actually that's what I'm going to be doing the most. Let me see if I can get one out here, if I can find one. So we'll just use this as an example. This is just like a green pumpkin swim jig. Um, I would trim it up when you do this, guys. I'd cut it. I would cut this section off where these front legs are. I would cut that off right there. So I'm just going to use my fingers because I don't have any scissors on me here. Not a good cut, but you guys will get the idea. So I would use it just like that. And it gives you a, like uh, you know if you know if you guys use like uh, power team leaders grubs or any kind of grub, uh, their tails are a little shorter. So if you want like a little longer tail, this is a good way to do. And it's also got these arms as well. That's going to move some water. So we'll go ahead and rig it up on here. You guys can see what it looks like here. This swim jig has rattles on it too, so. So that's the profile you'll get if it wasn't all messy here. So that's the profile you would get if it was on a swim jig. It looks really nice, that tail comes out. If you guys wanted to trim the skirts, you know, on your things, that's, we could use a little bit of trimming, but that comes out pretty far from the skirt, so it's perfect for the bass. I think that'd do really, really well. That's a great little combination. Um, I actually tried getting footage for you guys. I only had one hit. We had so much rain that the bass fishing has just been turned off. I haven't been out for almost a week now. I've been just kind of waiting for the water to chill out and waiting for the bass to come back and uh, start biting. So um, that's the ways I would do that bait. Um, I think there's more. You could probably Carolina rig it. Um, there's a few other ways. You can probably use it on a scrouger head. Uh, good for bed fishing and stuff, you know. But my number one ways would be on a swim jig here like you see. Or just on a standard Texas rig. Weighted or weightless. Or scrounger head too, which I don't ever have. I don't know why I don't pick any up. Scrounger head would be really good too. That's a good uh, bottom bait. You can bounce it really well. and Definitely during the spawn and stuff. That's a great little bait to use. So, um, last bait here. Uh, we got the 
five inch six stick and gold digger here um, Texas rig uh, easiest way you can do it um, you can use it on their pea heads uh, you can use it on their jack whackers which is right here a weighted wacky rig hook uh, really good way to fish it I'll show you guys how you can do that here again with this big guys since it's a square core you gotta go corner to corner um, if you want a good uh, demonstration uh, check out uh, Tackle Junkie 81's video and he'll show you how it works because my camera's not going to focus so you guys aren't going to be able to see it as well on my end his camera does a lot better job of that but um, you can rig it up on their uh, jack whackers way to wacky hook here uh, really good way to fish it. That's the best way I like to fish any kind of uh, stick bait is uh, wacky rigged. Weighted or weightless, uh, up to you. I prefer these baits weighted because they have a lot of buoyancy. So if you do it uh, weightless, it's a really, really slow fall. And I like it to have a little bit of a faster fall. Um, and those are the ways I like to do it. Just Texas rig. Or on a, on a shaky head you can do it. Or... Uh, on uh, a wacky style hook. Those are the three ways I would prefer to do it. So that's it guys. Those are the baits you can win. So you can win one pro pack of the 4.5 Bully Grass Devil in Okeechobee Craw. Again that's a count 25. Or you can choose the 3.6 JB Hammers Head and Gold Digger. Another pro pack. Or a pro pack of the gold digger color and the six stick lineup here. Or the uh, Power Team Lures Lizard and Kitchen Sink. So one of those four baits to choose from, guys. Uh, I'll let the contest run for a couple days, uh, three three or four days, and then uh, we'll pick a winner. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.